Hello everyone and welcome to Sun City Library's virtual teen art program. My name is Jasmine Coley and for today's craft we will be creating abstract art using the paint pour method. After introductions we will first ask for parental guidance, list off what is provided in the complimentary kits, briefly go over necessary materials, and then you may follow along to the tutorial and composite any time. After the tutorial is finished there will be contact information available. We ask that viewers have parental guidance during this video. These are the materials provided. Let's begin. Hello everyone. Let's go ahead and go over all the materials necessary to complete this craft. So of course you'll need a canvas. I am using an 11 by 14 size. Of course you can go ahead and go smaller or larger, whatever you prefer. Right here you will see acrylic paints. You can find these at any craft store for about a dollar. For mixing medium, we are just be using multi-purpose glue. Elmer's works really well, so we highly suggest it. On the side here, you'll see different kinds of cups. Uh, this one has just a little bit of water to change the consistency of the mixtures. Uh, you'll see a tower of color cups, which will be uh, needed for mixtures, uh, but they're gonna go ahead and be separate for now. And then eventually, they'll go ahead and mix in these cups. You can use just one, but since my canvas is so large, I'm using two. Then you'll see here we're uh, going to be using craft sticks just to make sure that the glue and the paint mixes well enough in these cups. And then finally, we're going to be using lubricant to create cells in our artwork, which I will go ahead and explain a little later in the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on our first step. Uh, what we're going to do right now is mix all of our paint in separate cups with our mixing medium, which is going to be glue. It's going to be half and half. So let's go ahead and do a couple in front of camera so you guys can go ahead and follow along and see how I do it exactly. So let's grab this nice dark blue and clip it. Go ahead and squirt some in. Good amount. That's a good amount. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add uh, glue. I took off the cap, this is much easier. Keep an eye on it. Now let's do the top. Grab one of the craft sticks and go ahead and start stirring it until it's a nice um, mix. I think there could be a little bit more glue because it looks a bit watery. Just a bit, not too much. It would just come out. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, that's probably a good amount. We want it to be um, not too thick, but not too watery, because when we do the paint pour itself and we plop it on the canvas, we want to make sure that when we move the canvas, the paint does flow pretty easily. See, that's a nice consistency. Looks like this one doesn't need water at all, so let's go ahead and go to the next color, which would be this nice bright blue. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab blue mixing medium and add it to the paint. That's pretty good. Stir that one. And at this point, I think you can see this one doesn't need much water or, at all either because it looks like the consistency is pretty nice. Let's go and get to the sides to get as much paint as we can. Actually, it could be a little bit more watery just a bit. Let's just add like a couple drops or so. That's that's good. No, that, was, that might have been a bit much, but we'll see after we mix it. So this is a good example of it being a bit too runny. So let's just go ahead and add just a bit more paint. Alright, that 
one's pretty good. And we'll do one more on camera. Let's go ahead and do this nice marigold color. I'm excited for this one because it looks like it's going to be really pretty on the... Uh, looks like we have to take off the cap for this as well. It looks like it's going to be really nice on the canvas. was probably up to here, so we don't have to add that much glue, which is good because this one's almost running out too. Yeah, so remember, it's half and half, so I'm not going to add too much glue to this mixture at all. that one. Oh, see this one is much too thick. This is a good example of being too thick. But we don't want it too runny like that light blue that I did earlier. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit of water, but not too much. Oh, here's my water. Oh, this is nice. See, it's a nice consistency. And I did these two off camera. It's a nice consistency. And then I'll do this black off camera and we'll continue after that. All right, so at this point, all of our paint and mixing medium is mixed together in separate cups. We can see that they have pretty much the same consistency, not too runny, not too thick. We don't want it too runny uh, because we want it to uh, stay on the canvas but we don't want it too thick because we want to have the paint flow in a nice manner when we're moving the canvas around. So here comes the fun part. Uh, we're gonna add lubricant to the mixture so we can create cells in our paint pour. So just as uh, an example, I made this earlier and the lubricant creates little pockets or otherwise known as cells into the, into the artwork we're about to create. So let's go ahead and just give each of them just a small spritz. Don't go crazy. Just like a little, we'll be fine. So we're just going to go ahead and I don't think this one got much, so we'll just spray just a little bit more. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and mix the lubricant in. I found that if you spray one more time just on top, that'll make it a lot more celly, I guess. So let's just go ahead and just do one more spritz. All right, and we're on to the next step, which is to go ahead and mix each of them or not mix, maybe pour each of them into our mixing cups. So let's go ahead and start with, let's say this color, and just pour just a little bit. That's a good amount. Let's go ahead and do the yellow. And then we don't want to go crazy with the black because it is a pretty dark color, so I'll just do a tad bit. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do some blue. It has a lot, so I'm just going to do that. Let's do some purple. I kind of want to put some blue. Or, I don't know what color this is, like a another purple I guess. And then let's go ahead and do the yellow again. I kind of want to make more of this yellow honestly because it's so pretty and bright. I'm, I'm Honestly I might. I'll let you know if I do. <laughs> All right. It's already looking very pretty in my opinion. And we're just going to keep going until it's at least uh, 
P pretty full. I mean, we'll just keep going and then I'll show you in the next angle how, how high the paint is. All right, so here's the other angle. You can see right here what it will eventually turn out to be. So let's go ahead and just start pouring. At this point, I don't think I really need to narrate the whole thing, but just know that I'm here. All right, so now we get to the canvas part of our craft, and this is definitely the messiest. So if you couldn't tell earlier, I did put newspaper down. I put even more so by my feet because this is definitely going to um, cause some spillage because what we're going to do is put our cups upside down against the canvas, and then after a few seconds, we're going to lift it up and move the canvas around just quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, ready? And go. All right, so just for a few seconds. I'm not sure why, but I just feel like a few seconds helps. And we're going to go ahead and open. And there definitely is some paint against the walls of the cup, but can't do much about it because they are um, mixed together. All right, we can already see some cells, so let's go ahead and get to work by just moving it around. And there will be spillage, of course, so just, you know, try not to mind it. We have newspaper down for a reason. See, so look at some of those cells. That looks awesome already. This way now. Do you see what I mean when I didn't want it too watery? It's not super slick, but it's not too thick to where it doesn't move at all. And let's go ahead and move this way. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the sides of the canvas. Well, when I can, let's go ahead and do the top while we wait for it to go to the bottom. Let's go down a little bit this way. Oh, that looks amazing. I love the yellow. So yeah, just a reminder, I've just been tilting the canvas. I'll go ahead and just finger mark there. It's not a big deal. Just to cover some of the white. I kind of like, I kind of like that edge, honestly, like it looks very cool, so I think I might just stop here. Do you guys like it? So I saw online that someone did uh, spray a little bit more lubricant on top of their somewhat finished project, so let's just go ahead and do that. Just experiment. Oh, just a tad bit. All right, oh, look at that. It looks like it's oxidizing. Here, let's go ahead and try to zoom you guys in. Oh, that's out. 
Oh, doesn't that look? That looks awesome. Let's go ahead and try to zoom in a bit more. Oh, beautiful. I'll go ahead and also post the um, end result at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you followed along, please, please tag us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, you guys have a great day and stay safe out there. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this craft, browse our online catalog for these available materials. Thank you again for following along to our virtual teen art program. Have a great day and stay safe. Goodbye.